Good evening and welcome to the Just Engineering Q3 FY23 Earnings Conference Call. Before we proceed to the call, let me remind you that the discussion may contain forward-looking statements that may involve known or unknown risks, uncertainties, and other factors. It must be viewed in conjunction with our business risk that will cause future result performance or achievement to differ significantly from what it is expressed or implied by such forward-looking statements. Please note that we have mailed the results and the same are available on the company's website. In case if you are not received the same, you can write to us and we will be happy to send it over to you. To ask questions, please select the raise hand option. We will call out your name and then request you to unmute yourself and ask the question. Please note, the questions on the chat box will not be monitored on an active basis. To take us through the results and answer your questions today, we have the top management of Just Engineering Limited, represented by Mr. Patik Patel, Chairman and Managing Director, and Mr. Dharmendra Jain, Chief Financial Officer. We will start the call with a brief overview of the quarter gone past and then conduct a Q&A session. With that said, I will now hand over the call to Mr. Patik Patel. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. I thank you for spending your time and attending this investor meet. Uh, I would first like to go to a small presentation, uh, which some of you must have seen before, and the new entrants would like to know more about the company. That's why we go to that presentation very briefly, and then I will go on to the financial results for the for the nine months ending 31st December. As many of you know, we are a manufacturing company, not an EPC company. We manufacture equipment for water, wastewater, treatment plant, conveyance, pumping station, etc. That also includes some water, uh, raw water, and desalination. We, we are based in uh, four countries. We have our manufacturing plants in America and in India. Uh, the Austrian plant has been closed. Uh, we have around 850 employees and we are supplying our equipment to more than 40 countries worldwide. We are also approved by most of the authorities uh, in these countries. It shows how the company has evaluated over the period of time. Today, uh, based on the acquisitions which we have done, the company is on a very sound footing product-wise as well as market acceptance. Thanks. These are the acquisitions which we have done, Shiosil, Shivpal, Mar, and Rudnihant. And all these acquisitions have led to increasing the product bouquet which the company offers as well as establishing ourselves into new markets. We have five plants presently and combined turnover capability of these five plants is close to 500 crore. We are undertaking expansion in Unit 2 presently. Unit 3 expansion was done a few months back and Unit 2 is now undergoing. And with these expansions, we are in a position to increase our turnover potential from 500 to 650 crore in coming years. We have invested in one of the best manufacturing facilities as well as capability in our line of business and this would help the company in time to come. Most of the products which we make are for uh, water and wastewater uh, related industry and uh, water control gates, heavy fabricated gates, next. Spinning equipment, spinning conveying equipment, next. And nitrate valves, special purpose valves, bulk, bulk solid handling valves, all these form bulk of our products. In addition to that, we also do process equipment, hydropower equipment, screw pumps, filtering equipment, and these are the new gen products, I would say. And with this, the company is in a, today in a position to offer a wide range of equipment which none of our competitor can offer from a single source or single company. Our products are used in these applications.
organizations uh, in India as well as outside India. The, it is industrial as well as uh, for municipal and for education. For the nine months ending 31st December, 46% of our businesses come from water control gates, 30% of our businesses come from the screening products, 15% businesses come from mall, and 9% of our businesses come from other miscellaneous products, which is process equipment as well as hydropower and pumping equipment. I am glad to inform that when we embark on our vision of becoming a global company, we have said that we will bring more than 65% of our revenue from outside India. Then we are nearly in line with that of the total revenue of 233 crore rupees. 126 crore revenue is from outside India. We supply to projects in Europe, USA, Middle East, India, as well as far and Southeast Asia. And in this screen, we have shown you the amount of business we are doing in various sectors of the world. We are approved by most of the clients and consultants in India as well as outside India. And, and uh, this gives us a very strong strength of uh, ensured business potential worldwide. Now coming to the financial performance of the company, uh, first I will go through the standalone uh, for the three major revenue earning companies of the group. Uh, Just Engineering Limited is the biggest uh, company of the uh, Just Engineering uh, and it owns all the other companies. 100% uh, subsidiaries are Super as well as uh, Rodney and Just USA. Just Engineering has uh, improvement in its turnover as well as in its profit after tax. Uh, the profit after tax has improved significantly because of reduction in raw material as well as improved order intake of high value added products. In case of Chipa also we have seen a significant improvement in turnover as well as in profitability. However, in Rodnian, the turnover did not grow as expected, even though we have a very high order position in Rodnian. And as a result of that, we have had some increase in losses over last year, though they are minor, 0.2 million dollars. But we are sure to work on this since we expect in the last quarter to achieve revenue of more than 20 million dollars. So from 12 million dollars now, we expect to achieve more than 20 million dollars by the end of this year. And once we do that, even Rodnian would be quite profitable. On the consolidated figures, uh, we have had increase in revenue from 240 to 241. But this has resulted into improved gross profit margin as well as EBITDA margin and our profit before tax. So profit before tax and profit after tax has significantly improved. Along with other income, more than 22 crore has been our comprehensive income for the nine months period. <laughs> This is a consolidated income statement which shows uh, quarter-wise performance as well as performance in uh, ending nine months. As you can say, our nine months ending 31st December, our EPS has significantly improved, nearly double than what we had achieved last year, same time. However, if our, okay, I think that is it. Coming to our business outlook, I am pleased to say that we are, our order booking is quite strong. It is nearly 720 crore today with 471 crore of orders outside India and 249 crores of orders within India. 
considering the two subsidies which are our major contributor to the turnover, Rudni Hunt also has a very good order book position, 269 crore, and Shipar has 12.47 crore book position. Overall, I would say is that we have a very strong order book position which should be able to get us through even over the next year, one financial year, 2023-24. And so I'm happy to note that uh, the company is on a very strong footing now. Uh, we are not too much worried about the recession, so-called recession, which is expected globally because our order of position is sound. Our order pipeline also is quite strong. We have already negotiated orders for 33 crores and orders for around 25, 26 crores are under final negotiation. Uh, these orders also we expect to be finalized within the next few weeks. And so we have a strong order book position backed by good order inflow in the coming months. We still maintain the same sales outlook which we had projected at the beginning of the year. We see some challenges in maintaining that, so it's possible that 430 crore may go down to 420 crore or so, but there should not be a major deviation in that. Coming to the developments, uh, I would like to tell that the order book position of uh, Rodney and today is close to $33 million. So even when we do close to $9 million in the next uh, three months, we would still be having a uh, pending order book position of $22 million plus few or few million which will be adding up in the current two months. Uh, in Rodnian, we have already bought the land in Houston and uh, payment, part payment has been given and all the payment will be made in March. The agreement with the uh, invent of Germany has been finalized and I will be going to Germany in the end of this week to sign the agreement and also to take this business forward. The work on new Product plant at Unit 2 is progressing well and we will commission this in Q3 of this coming financial year. At the same time in Shiva, most of the approvals are in process. Some of the approvals we have already got. So once uh, all the approvals are received, we will load the tender for construction of the plant. This plant uh, construction will be started in April uh, 2023 and we hope to complete the plant by 2024 March. The company has also granted 245,600 options to the eligible employee under the scheme of 2019. With this grant, close to between 180 to 200 people in the company would be the shareholders. The staff of the company would be the shareholder, which augurs well for the company because if the staff are committed and they see creation of wealth for themselves by better output and better vigilance in the company, it will benefit all shareholders. I'm pleased to announce that the company has backed an award which is from an independent agency, ICAI, for excellence in financial reporting for financial year 21-22. And uh, this was for companies having done over less than 500 crore and we got uh, the category 7 black award uh, and this is quite a prestigious thing for the company because uh, ICI is a very renowned institute and of chartered accountants and if they consider us as being good in financial reporting, then I would say that we are doing something good. During the 17th Pravasi Bharti Divas organized in Indore, the government of India had selected our plant after due diligence and visit by top uh, Ministry of External Affairs people that this is a company which should be showcased to the visitors. And in this 
progression uh, the president of guyana visited our company the foreign minister of panama was also supposed to visit however she could not make it as she got delayed elsewhere but the president visited and guyana is now looking forward to using our products for uh, their uh, energy needs as well as uh, because the com- the country is low lying and they need lot of gates and other equipments for sustenance and someone from our us office will be visiting guyana shortly to take this forward in the end i would like to say that we have had a quite a healthy growth and improvement in uh, numbers all type of numbers whether it is uh, revenue ebitda or profitability uh, the main reason for increase in profitability is better orders and uh, high value addition orders and also reduction in raw material prices though the raw material prices are still fluid they are still varying going up and down but we have overcome whatever happened last year and so in future i can assure you that we would be able to do better and better our subsidiary companies are also doing good and we expect as we all aware that quarter 4 is the year when we do most of our revenues so in jash as well as in our subsidiary companies most of our revenues would be done in quarter 4 and on account of that we are looking forward to really good improvement in our performance i would like to state here that as i said the icci award which we have got shows that we have good governance there are good reportings it is part of our culture and we continue to keep ourselves aligned with the best practices if any of you feel that we should be doing something more we are open to the suggestions because i believe that the transparent more transparent you are more positive you are in your reporting uh the shareholders as well as all the stakeholders are better uh bet- better place position in our company we do not want something like what has happened currently we are, we are all aware of what has happened something like that to happen with us and so we are very vigilant and we will add, uh, we will honor every of your wish to be more vigilant and more transparent finally i would like to say that our domestic market is booming is very very strong it's it's something which i have not seen over last 7 8 years finally it looks like the domestic market is also coming in line with the global market so in years to come we are looking at very strong domestic order book position and this should propel the company along with our total export uh, position which also is becoming stronger and stronger so i would say as a result of the strong domestic market and our strong presence in global market we are now on verge of further growth with increased profitability in years to come thank you thank you we will now begin with the question and answer session gentle reminder to all the participants to ask question please select the raise and option we will now wait for a moment until the question queue assembles yes. the first question is from mr navin navin please unmute yourself and go ahead uh thank you for the opportunity uh first of all i want to congratulate the jest team for winning the ica award uh my question is i, I wanted to understand the competitive landscape in us in the wake of rising interest rates sir in us rising interest rate does not only affect us it affects all our competitors so it's for us it is not a very big issue uh, the rising interest rate definitely affects the execution of the projects because because of the rising cost some projects may get uh, deferred or announced for execution later on or some may slow down 
But on an average, it, it is the same for everyone, not only for uh, Rodney Hunt. So I would say that rising interest rate does not put us at a disadvantage vis-a-vis our competitor. And in present, we don't have any loan in US, so there is no such burden on us. But if we take it, it will be equivalent to all of us. Yeah, that's so. My my question was more in respect of the competitive landscape. Does it change uh, because uh, the U.S. companies uh, uh, compared to us I mean, won't be that competitive? Uh, no, it, it, there is no such change because uh, when you supply from India to America, you are building up all the cost and then on that they are adding up uh, overhead and margins and then quoting. So I think it, it does not affect us much. Uh, my second question is, uh, I want to understand what is the Finnish crew's uh, inventory at the end of the nine month? Uh, are we sitting on a lot of Finnish goods inventory uh, considering our execution for the first nine months? Uh, let me tell you, there were two, uh, uh, two things uh, which I would like to explain here. One is Finnish good and one is goods which have been delivered but have not reached as per import terms. So we had delivered, we had delivered material worth 14 crores on 30 and 31st of December, which has not been considered in our FIT because they had not reached the site. In addition to that, I'm talking of just engineering standalone only. In addition to that, 19 crores worth of finished goods are lying at our plant duly inspected because of payment reason or because of clearances from the client to dispatch. So 19 plus 14, 33 bro, is the amount of finished goods which are either ready in plant or in dispatch, under dispatch, which have left our plant and are on way to our client. This is standalone. The same position in, in Shivpath and Rodian could be around another 6-7 crores. So you also spoke about uh, uh, changing India landscape and telling that order book, uh, you will see order book traction going forward. Is uh, Could you speak more about that? Is it for any particular municipality or across? Across Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Bombay, Delhi and Chennai. Kolkata is out. So these cities alone have announced so many projects and the order execution, then the orders are being placed fast now because everyone knows the election is coming and they want to place the order so that uh, then they don't get into this uh, hold with the government, uh, with the election commission places for placing orders before election. So as a result of that, we are seeing a huge traction in the domestic market, which we have not seen for last 15, 20 years. Is it possible to quantify approximately what would be the... I, I believe uh, the businesses that we we'll get from all these projects which have been announced and which has been all, already ordered, should be on an average 100 to 150 percent more than what was our domestic turnover in the last few years. Wow. Thank you, sir. That's all from my end. I'll get back in the queue. Thank you, Naveen. A gentle reminder to all the participants to ask the question, please select a raise and option. Next question is from Mr. Didi. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, uh, Pratikji, two questions. One is uh, our uh, pending orders outside US and India is around 200 crores, uh, two, uh, 270 from US and uh, 470 total. This is a very large uh, chunk. I have never seen in the last five, six years such a big uh, outside US and outside India. So can you give some color, uh, how much is from Singapore and Hong Kong? And what is the, you know, we, we have seen uh, Singapore orders going forever, and so, so is Hong Kong. So give some color on the executability of this order. That's first question. 
So can I answer a question by question? Yes, Otherwise, yes. it will be too many questions, I will forget it. So yes. let me just tell you here, uh, from Singapore, we have around 100 crore worth of orders. The execution of those orders have started. This year, we would be supplying close to 10, 15 crore worth of those orders. And in the next two years, all those orders would be executed for Singapore. Hong Kong is going very strong. All the orders in Hong Kong have been, uh, are under execution, so there is no delay on Hong Kong. The good thing which has happened in Hong Kong is one of our computers are closed shop. So the orders will be lost in last one year. They will come back to us that whether we can give or not. So in Southeast Asia, we are still very strong and we are doing well. In in uh, U.S., uh, what we saw, order book position is shown separately for U.S. So, Southeast Asia, Middle East, and Europe, together also has a very strong order book position, close to 150 crores. Sure. Uh, that, that, uh, that totals 200 crores, actually, uh, in Europe, Southeast Asia, and Middle East. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, some some is also from Africa and like that, and other countries. But yes, the total is 200 crore, of which uh, Singapore is close to 100 crore, Hong Kong would be 30, 40 crore, 20, 30 crore would be some, uh, in uh, Middle East, and 20, 30 crore is in outside the Middle East, that is Europe and Africa and like that. Sure. Sure. So that's good. So, uh, so the second question is, uh, so, so we are, we are, uh, we are, we are truly a, a, a international company now you know, across the globe. That I goes. Two more years. Yeah. Yeah. We need uh, two okay. more years to be an international company, but we are reaching there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, second question is, we had some issues regarding the size of balance sheet in US, Rodney Hunt. And I remember last quarter or last last quarter, you you were talking about a twenty million dollar deal where we had to take a guarantee from a partner. Uh, so is that uh, still a problem? Are we facing issues in bidding for uh, large? Yes. Deals? And what is the what is the way out? If I am able to sell the orange land, then I have a very good way out. But other than that, we are in talks with someone who is willing to fund us. Uh, and when I go to U.S. next week, we'll be having final talks with him. So if he agrees to do what he has agreed already, then I think we have a way out. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, sure. So so we, we are dependent on this uh, monetizing the land in or, orange, right? But monetizing the land in orange brings us enough surplus cash, uh, surplus money, that we will not be dependent on anyone. However, for getting the bonding, we will still be dependent on someone because none of us are U.S. citizens. So we will be dependent on a U.S. citizen. And one person has decided to come forward with... Uh, giving his uh, citizenship, social security number, etc., and also uh, giving a bond based on our giving him some financial benefits. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, third question is regarding um, the 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 uh, you know uh, capacity. I know we are already uh, in the middle of uh, 23, and I think most of our investment cycles are over. Right, we have already done whatever expansion we needed to do. So uh, what is the next leg? If you are saying that we are going to get a large chunk of business from India in next uh, uh, 24 months, uh, which essentially means we, uh, what I understand our capacity to produce is around 600 crores. Is around so, 500 crores now. Two plants we are building up, one in unit one and one in Chennai. And with that, we will be reaching 650 crores. Yeah, which, uh, which unless it is proper, like finely balanced and uh, we have SEZs and uh, domestic production. So is that going to be a constraint in the next two years down the line? No, fortunately, we have separate plans for domestic market and separate plans for export market. With this, the constraint is removed. Earlier, the constraint was export was being also produced partially in domestic market. So when the domestic market demand was there, we either we have to give for export or for domestic, so we had to sacrifice one of the markets. 
today fortunately we are not in that position sure uh, okay thank you pratik thank you didi the next question is from alisha please unmute yourself and go ahead hi sir good evening am i audible yeah you are audible good evening hi um so last quarter also you had highlighted that uh, there was some delay in supplies at rodney hunt the material was inspected but i think the client didn't pick it up on time this quarter also to some extent our consolidated revenues impacted because of rodney hunt is there a particular client issue that we're facing there is no client issue the issue is related to the rodney and 70% of its revenue comes from goods manufactured in india and from sending from india to america now has become a very cumbersome thing what used to reach america earlier in 45 to 50 days at site today it takes at least 3 weeks more and as a result of that we are not able to like in the month of january itself rodney and could be billing more than 3 million dollar so all that is on account of transshipment delays and shipment delays the client issue is there but it's very less uh, the shipment issue is a bigger one okay so and uh, how is the demand in the ex us um, export market you did mention that you know we already have order book in singapore hong kong etc but incrementally and you did mention that domestic is looking strong but how is the demand outside us in the other geographies okay so one of our biggest competitor in uk has shut down i think we are the reason for shutting down closing down and that increases for us potential everywhere as i said yesterday we got a letter from his from his agent in hong kong that would you be able to finish those projects would you be able to help us out and uh, go out of this project because we will not, we are now not going to get deliveries so so this would definitely help us in increasing our revenues everywhere in uk in middle east as well as in south east asia that company used to do 14 to 15 million pounds 150 crores approximately of revenue in water control games okay so and uh, in a uh, previous quarter we also mentioned that we had some amount of uh, for lack of better word legacy orders where the margins were slightly lower because of the rm inflation and the time they were picked what is the update on that is all of that executed or can we expect some more pressure on market execution is now starting we have not executed the execution is now starting but god has been great so indian rupee has depreciated enough to ensure that all those orders are now in profit the raw material rates also have gone down by the way and dollar has appreciated so at the end of the day now we are back to square one and we are profitable so in this 700 crore odd order book that we are holding you are saying uh, there will be very limited if any margin impact because of any previous orders also as i said the impact would be very minimal one of the prime reason would be that the rupee has depreciated so when the raw material started going up the rupee also started going down and as a result we had reached a stage where uh, we were still little bit negative but now the raw material rates have started going down and they have stabilized to a certain level at this level most of those orders are now profitable so we had some, an aspiration yeah sorry some yeah. immensely profitable uh, profitable some less profitable but most of the orders are not profitable and so we had an aspiration to do 10% pat margin in this year we continue to believe that that will be achievable for this financial year fy 23 i think so we should be able to improve if all the delivery takes place see now we have made a policy that if the client does not pay we will not deliver the material just to get billing so that may put a little bit spoke in our uh, aspiration but other than that i would say there is nothing wrong um, as of today which shows to less than 10% pat more 
Uh, we expect 11%, but let us keep our finger crossed. If you are happy at 10, and I am also happy at 10. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Alisha. The next question is from Zaki Nasir. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Mr. Zaki, uh, uh, I think he's not audible. Uh, we will take a next question from Mr. Nitin Dharmawat. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. I hope I'm audible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, sir, you mentioned about uh, uh, the possibility of uh, 650 crore revenue, okay, uh, with some expansion that you mentioned. So uh, this will be by which financial year you are uh, considering? In four years, time. Four years, time. Got it. And that is uh, 2027 financial year, you are saying? 2526. Oh, okay, 26, so three years from now. Okay. Yeah, uh, so in 2027, definitely. <laughs> got it. And uh, uh, and this incremental revenue, uh, because uh, of uh, the competitor shutting down in UK, are you have you included that as well in this, or uh, uh, that is not uh, included in this 650 crore? No, no accreditation because of any acquisition of someone who has closed down or someone who wants to buy is not included. Oh, got it. That, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, that means that you were saying which is additional if we do anything about the acquisition, yeah, anything. Got it, got it. Uh, thank you. I have only this many questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. A gentle reminder to all the participants to ask the question, please select a raise and option. Okay. Alisha. Alisha, please go ahead. Hi, thank you for the opportunity. I just wanted to know, um, by when do we now expect Rodney Hunt to break even? Because there was still some loss in this quarter. Last year itself, it had broken even. So, if you see our type of business, in the first quarter, we have high losses. In the second quarter, we may have small losses or we may be having small profits. In the third quarter, we make more profit. And in the last quarter, fourth quarter, we make enough substantial profit to take care of the whole year. And if it is true for Jashanir, it is also true for Shiva, it is also true for Rodnihan. So Rodnihan was profitable last year itself. Last year we had shown a net profit of half a million dollars. And this year we hope to improve upon that. Got it. And um, there were, we were uh, considering a, 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 an inorganic opportunity, which I think was at quite advanced stages. Is there an update on that? I did not get you. The inorganic opportunity that we were aggressively evaluating, I think, yeah. was in advanced stages. Is there any update on that? Or is there plans to close it in this financial year? It's still on cards. Uh, we are discussing. Uh, we will only go forward if we find it worthwhile. Any chance we can close it? Any timelines? Will it be this financial year or next year? Assuming it is lucrative. Enough? I am traveling for that only. Let's keep our finger crossed. Okay. Thank you. I am leaving for Europe this week and that's one of the reasons is that one. Okay. Thank you, Alisha. The next question is from uh, Sanjay Shah. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Yeah, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, yeah good evening, gentlemen. Uh, Pratik, sir, can you throw us some opportunity what you see in uh, US market, especially for Rodney Hunt? 
uh, as far as the new orders are concerned. Now, are we have graduated enough to bid for some big orders where which we uh, re- restricted previously or we are not eligible, I may pardon. So, is there any opportunity to see on that side and uh, are we going for that? Sanjayji, we are bidding for a job, single job, which is of $18 million. And we are the only gate company which has been named in that project. So now, slowly, slowly, things have started changing. In fact, few multi-million dollar projects, we are already named now and we are able to bid for it. The results will come hopefully within next two, three months. And the, once those results come, you will understand that now we are going on to the top league in America for this type of business. Uh, so I think uh, we, have, we have reached a level where people are now relatively confident of going for us. That's great, sir. So, so what are the challenges you see in uh, uh, doing business in U.S. market, especially from Rodney Hunt, and mm-hmm. how we are uh, mitigating it? Manpower. Manpower is our biggest problem in America. We are not getting welders. We are not getting fitters. We are getting nothing. We have a lot of orders, and we have we sometimes don't know how to execute them because of the people problem. And that is one of the reasons why we are opening up a plant in Houston, we, we, where we expect to have more people available for production. So, what will be the capex we will be incurring in at Houston, and by what time will be ready from that side? So, the the plan is that by September this year we will complete the expansion at Unit Two. By March next year, we will complete the expansion in Chennai, the, the new plant in Chennai. And then we start, after these two works are done, we start at the Rodnihan plant sometime from next year, middle of next year, and complete it by March 2025. And the, the overall investment at Rodnihan would be between 2 to $3 million. Bearing the cost of the land which we'll be paying this year, which is around half a million dollars. So, we are not yeah. going to do a deep bank expansion anywhere. We will only do partial expansion. And right. once the business starts coming in, and once we feel that we need to do further expansion, then only we'll do. So, America, we will like to cap at $3 million. Right, right. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Really helpful. And good luck to you all. By the way, Sanjay, the, yeah. the, when we do the Houston expansion, the plant in Orange would still be operating. So okay. even if we do the Houston expansion smaller, it will not affect us output-wise. Got it, sir. Got it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A gentle reminder to all the participants to ask the question, please select the raise hand option. Uh, the next question is from uh, Mr. Dilip. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, Pratik Bhai, one, uh, two questions. Uh, one is our, uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Our, our investment, uh, 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 considering that we'll do uh, 430 this year and around 500 plus next sir, year. Sir, 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 sir. Hello. Yeah. There's some uh, crosstalk. Yeah, think. there was. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so the the way I look at uh, Pratikva is uh, next three to four years, our investment is not going to be more than 25, 30, you know, 30, 35 crores and an average. Uh, so, uh, you know, and and our our cash flows will be far better. So, any idea, uh, any 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 plan on the dividend uh, distribution policy, Pratik? Why? What is the what is the policy we have on dividend yeah. distribution? I would like to gradually take the dividend distribution to around seventy two percent on at par value. So, which which I I consider, uh, we are not talking from point of view of the market value. I am talking of par value of share, which is ten rupees. 
So my intention is to increase the dividend over period of time to at least 72% of par value next two to three years. And thereafter, we can think of if, if the investment requirement is not there, thereafter we can think of higher dividends in proportion to the earnings. Sure. Sure. But for yeah. next three years, we still need to invest gradually close to 45 to 50 crores. Understood. Understood. So, so our, uh, our visibility is around seven, eight, uh, seven, seven rupees, uh, uh, for, uh, uh, you know, for, for, for the peak in next three years. Good. Yeah. Uh, so, so which is a good thing. I know that we, we are investing into the business and that brings to be my, my second question. Uh, uh, you know, uh, our, yeah. Is there, is there a noise? Uh, yeah. No, so we are already at half of that. And if the continuous improvement in profitability is seen, we will gradually increase to 72%. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 72 percent is 7.2 rupees uh, because of our yeah. Yeah. Is 10 rupees. Yeah. Fine. Uh, uh, the, the next question, uh, Pratik Bhai, is it's India business, while it's good that it's humongous and, uh, and, and, uh, you know, it will obviously uh, give us a lot of leverage. Uh, my experience has been in the past, the India business comes with a lot of, uh, you know, problems. Uh, working capital delay in decision making, then the, the customers don't pick up. Even large customers like LNT, uh, the mostly the, there's a back to back payment and the customers are, you know, municipalities and all. So how do we, uh, you know, so is there some way the management of th- is thinking of uh, de-risking the pay- receivables in this business? See, my experience is Suppose you have got 200 crores orders in India. 10 crore of orders will always get stuck. Whatever you do, may get stuck with good companies, may stuck with good municipalities, may get stuck with bad companies, anyone. So the risk which we think of is less than I would say 5 to 10 percent. So if there is a 5 to 10 percent risk of order getting stuck or decay, I say it is a fair risk in the type of business we are in. In infrastructure, you know, it's very tricky. A change of government also sometimes result into huge chaos. And that is why we have decided to focus more on projects outside India than in India. But these projects which have been announced are huge. These projects have been placed on companies which are financially sound. But if it is L&D, then you are right. We have to see all sort of music from LNT because they are so big that they don't listen or they don't care for small suppliers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So is there some, some way like, uh, you know, selling out the, uh, uh, you know, the receivables or bill discounting something of that sort? Uh, would that you know, help? All those things. We ought to do all those things. But one thing you should understand, uh, which helps us not getting exposed more than 5-10 percent is our order of suppose 20 or 30 crore may be delivered in 15 or 20 lots. So every time you are delivering material, it is one, one and a half crore, two crores. If you don't get payment for that, you stop all subsequent activities. And so my exposure always get limited. And it is the risk of the single party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my only worry is that current deals that we are seeing in the market, like the Mumbai deal, they will be 50, 60 crores. Each deal will be 30, 40, 50 crores. That's yeah, the but, but the delivery would be going in one, two, three crore segment only. So my order of 40 crore also may be having 10 or 12 or 15 dispatches. So if okay. someone does not pay you for the first dispatch, the worst hit I would have is material of first dispatch is at my hand and 50% production of the second dispatch is already done. So my exposure would be four, four and a half crore. That's why I said our general exposure in a very bad time also has never been more than 10% of the order position. Okay. Okay. Understood. Thank you, Pratibhai. And all the best. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. The next question is from Mr. Zakin Nase. Please unmute yourself and go ahead.
Zaki, we can't hear you. Maybe you can uh, type out on the chat box and. Since there is some technical issue. I think Jackie is not able to connect. Yeah. There is one uh, message from Bhavya. Um, given that the majority of your revenue is generated in the last quarter and any future capital expenditure will be based on the quarter performance, do you consider this to be a risk? Is there any solution to this? <laughs> I, I, I don't think we have a very credible solution to this. The reason is, uh, as you know, most of our deliveries are uh, capital goods, and these are going to government or industry. And uh, as the year ending in most of the countries where we are is 31st March, all the accumulated deliveries takes place in the last quarter. There is no risk as such. We have been doing this for last 40, 50 years. All the uh, uh, the 60% of our revenue comes in the last quarter. Because all the products are pre-approved, designs are based on our products, it is not possible that a project can be completed without our goods. And so we don't see any big, big risk in delivering such a huge amount of orders in the last quarter. Anyone wishes to ask the question, please select a raise and option. And that was the last question. Uh, I'll request Pratik sir for a closing comments. So thank you everyone for attending this meet. I'm sure uh, you would be happy with the results and I look forward to meeting you again in when we announce the result for the next quarter and for the financial year. Uh, I, looking to what we have achieved in the past in the last quarter, I am sure we will all look forward to a much better improved results in the next quarter. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for, thank you for joining us today. If you have any additional questions, you can reach out to us anytime. We wish you a good health and look forward to seeing you again in the next quarter. Have a good day.